Hello guys, uh, Dan here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to move on uh, on painting uh, Darfoss pack, uh, Zanadu Rush. And I'm going to paint uh, Kaden uh, First Strike. I know how much you people like uh, painting with the contrast paints. So this one is going to be uh, painted with the contrast paints first. And then in the second part of the video I'm going to move on and do the highlighting of the model with the traditional paints and uh, bring it to the current state. So without further ado, let's do it. I started uh, with the priming uh, model with the black primer and then I applied the zenithal highlight uh, from the like 60 degrees uh, from the top. If you don't know how to apply zenithal highlight, it's very simple. You just pick up a spray can and you just fix it like 60 to 70 degrees above the model and you just did a short puffs and do the spray from the top. Uh, you're not going to spray model from the bottom or any other angle. You're just going to spray it uh, from one angle and rotate the model so that you can cover uh, all the surfaces that are on the top. Uh, if you look your model from below, you will see that you will still have your black undercoat and that will be our shadows. I will now start uh, applying uh, all the contrast uh, paints on this model. So I will just go to uh, apply them like one by one until I paint the whole model and use all of them. So uh, you can just ready them in front and just uh, use them. I'm using these uh, paints uh, straight from the bottle and uh, I'll just give you a little tip. Uh, I'm always using a very old brush when uh, dealing with the contrast paints uh, because uh, the contrast paints uh, have some tendency to damage the bristles uh, of the brushes. So if you use them uh, for a long period of time you will see that the hair uh, from your brushes are just uh, start uh, falling off slowly. So I'm going to paint uh, all these sections uh, with the one uh, very thick coat and I'm just going to be as tidy as much as possible not to do any stains uh, or any paint on the areas that I don't want to paint with a particular color. My first color will be a Gorya Grand Affair and I'm using this color to paint uh, the boots and a few leather straps uh, on his chest. Uh, second color that I'm going to use will be uh, Orc Flash Contrast and this uh, I used only for the part of his shirt uh, and the lower part of his pants that are like a uh, different texture like a little padded armor. And the second tip when you're dealing with the contrast paints is to shake them uh, really well. I have my Vortex mixer and I always mix this color for at least one minute before using them because they tend uh, to separate if they left unattended for a couple of days. Uh, in the next step I'm going to use a Creed Camo uh, which is a really nice uh, dark green and uh, with this uh, color I'm going to apply it in uh, one very thick coat and I'm going to paint uh, the most part of the clothes of this model so both his vest and the rest of the pants are going to be painted with this color. Uh, try to avoid the pooling of this paint on the flat uh, surfaces that uh, you see that naturally there won't be any shadows there, that they are flat and that the paint needs to go down. If that happens, just uh, clean up your brush and uh, collect the excess of the paint or just move it around inside the recesses. Next I'm going to paint the skin and the face. Uh, for this I'm going to use a Gilliman Flash and I'm going to apply it same as before. It's going to be a one thick coat and I'm going to cover all the parts of the skin. Uh, there is little part on the neck, uh, a lot on the face and uh, his arms are totally exposed so I'm going to paint uh, everything with uh, one uh, very thick coat. I'm not wasting any time here so I will move uh, forward immediately. I will pick up a Grip Hound orange and I'm going to paint uh, his uh, hair and uh, beard uh, with this uh, color. 
for his knee pads and his uh, machetes, I'm going to use a uh, Space uh, Wolf's uh, Gray and I'm just going to cover it same as before with the uh, one thick uh, coat. Uh, also used uh, straight from the bottle, so there is no dilution uh, to these paints or putting them on a wet palette or anything like that. Just use it straight from the bottle and just carefully paint the model. And uh, try to be as neat as possible. Try not to overlap colors uh, over each other because if you do that uh, it will create stains and then later we'll have to do a little more work to, to repair it. And last thing that we're going to do is to paint the handles uh, of the machetes uh, with the Black Templar contrast paint. Now I will leave the model for good like 45 minutes for all the contrast paints to dry properly. As you can see the model already start looking decent. So if you're in a rush or if you like the look you can leave it like this and start playing with it. But now I'm going to show you how to do the proper highlighting and how to just bring it up a notch higher to look uh, much better on the table. I will start first working on the skin and muscles. Uh, for this I'm going to use a Cadian Flash Tone and now I'm going to repaint uh, all the muscles uh, with this paint but I'm going to leave all the recesses and all the deepest area of the texture of the skin intact. Uh, so I'm going to do the same technique uh, on the hands and on the face as well. For the final highlight I'm going to pick up a Kisla flash and this is going to be only a small highlight uh, on the top of the most raised areas. So you're going to highlight like uh, parts of his forehead, uh, parts of the nose, a little on the cheeks, on the lips and uh, when it comes to the muscles you're going uh, to highlight only the areas uh, of the muscles that are uh, mostly on the top. Now I will move on on highlighting the green. I will use a golden olive just to do a little uh, highlight uh, on this uh, padded uh, little part uh, on his uh, pants. Uh, this is a very light highlight so you can use uh, like a very thin uh, color and just apply it in uh, two or three very thin coats uh, just to have like a nice uh, transition of that green there. For all of the rest of the green uh, on this uh, model I'm going to use a uniform green and now I'm going to go all over uh, the previous uh, green color like I will cover like 80% of it uh, with this paint uh, but uh, I'm going to be focused only on the top of the wrinkles, top of the folds and like uh, all these uh, flat areas. So you're going to go around uh, with a very thin coat uh, on your brush and you're just going to cover these areas. And we are going to save all the shadows that are already created uh, with the contrast paints so you won't go too deep inside the recesses uh, to damage those. Uh, for the last highlight on the green I'm going to use a sunny skin tone and I'm going to mix uh, a little in the previous uh, uniform green uh, just to create my highlight color. Uh, now I'm going to be focused only on the edges of the areas and only on the top uh, of the folds. Uh, so this time uh, I'm not going to highlight uh, anything that's inside or any flat areas. So this is a very little highlight so with this uh, you're going to draw a very thin lines, you're going to put a very small dots and in total area that you will highlight is like only like 5 to 10 percent it's just very little so just go around the model and just enhance uh, that folds uh, and uh, edges. Now I'm going to move on uh, to highlight uh, the boots uh, and the gloves. For this I'm going to use orange brown and I'm just going to apply a very thin edge highlight uh, on these areas. So I pick up one of my smallest uh, brushes with uh, best tip and I just go slowly around these areas and just draw a very little thin lines and as you can see it's already forming a very nice uh, highlight there. For the hair I'm going uh, to use a Scrofulous Brown 
and uh, I will try to use the side of my brush or just the tip of my brush and uh, I'll just try to highlight all the strings of the hair. Uh, so you will try not to go inside the recesses here, only very slightly and very light highlight uh, from the top uh, of the hair uh, because you want all your shadows to be intact uh, and uh, this is only one little highlight here and we won't spend any more time on this, uh, so we want to make it uh, quick and good uh, from the first try. And now I'm going to do the eyes on the model. For this I'm going to pick up a pure white and I'm just going to paint the eye sockets and I will use this chance to paint his teeth as well. And then I'm using a little of the noon oil to fill up the eye sockets and after the noon oil is dry I'm going to put uh, one uh, black dot in the middle of the eye and that will be my trick uh, for painting the eyes. While I'm still there, I'm going to use a white uh, to highlight the handles uh, of the machetes. Uh, for this uh, we will do just the edge highlight. And also I'm going to sketch uh, my lights on the machetes. Uh, so I'm going to do the edge highlight and I'm going to sketch uh, some lights for the non-metallic metal. If you don't know how to do this, you can just copy how I did it or copy it uh, from the box art or you can just do the edge highlight and leave it like this uh, but I'm going to make them to look a little better Uh, now I decided to create like a bluish tint uh, on the machetes, so I used the uh, Talasar blue contrast paint and just applied uh, one little glaze on top. I used this uh, straight from the bottle, uh, but I noticed uh, later that it was uh, too dark, uh, so maybe if you do it you can uh, just dilute it a little with the water or with the contrast medium and uh, apply it in little thinner layers so it doesn't get that blue as it was in my case. And then after this layer of contrast paint is dry I'm going to go back to white and just uh, uh, reapply these uh, edge highlights. But this time I'm, I'm going to try to make a uh, thinner lines uh, and uh, just reinforce uh, those points of lights that I sketched uh, in the previous step. Here I noticed that I forgot to paint his knee pads, uh, so I'm going to go back to the white and I'm just going to apply a very light uh, highlight and uh, edge highlight uh, on those uh, knee pads. And then I'm going to pick up uh, Space Wolves Grey contrast paint again and just apply uh, one little layer on top of it uh, so you will get your highlights uh, with a little bluish tint and that will uh, complete the look uh, of this uh, model. And that's it guys, I would call this model done. Uh, this was a really quick paint job, uh, even with the recording the video I don't think it took me more than uh, two, two and a half hours to finish everything. So it can be much much quicker if I was not messing up with the camera's angles. So I hope guys uh, I helped you like uh, learning something new and discover some new techniques in the paintings. If you did like this video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel it will help this channel grow in the future and uh, spread it to more people so they can see it. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the section down below and I will try to do my best to reply. This will be all for now. Until next video, stay safe, take care and see you soon. Bye bye.